Astria Ascending comes to Switch this year with Final Fantasy veteran Kazushige Nojima in tow. So, do you know about this game? Uh, never heard of it. I'm already in because it's Square Enix <laughs> and uh, the art style is very reminiscent of something like Final Fantasy Tactics. Yeah. I'm in. Uh, so, Kazushige Nojima, isn't that the writer for Final Fantasy VII? Or am I cor- am correct? Um, I forget. Yeah, I forget. I think uh, he but this is wor- on Switch? Yeah, I think he worked on Final Fantasy twelve. But let me let me read this. Yeah. All right. Um or maybe that was someone else. An epic adventure with the charm and pedigree of a classic JRPG, Astria Ascending tells an expansive story of fate, sacrifice, and new beginnings. The game was developed in partnership with publish- publisher Dear Villagers and boasts contributions from world classic art JRPG developers with a score by Hitoshi Sakamoto. Nice. Final, Final Fantasy, Fantasy 12. 12. Vagrant Story. Narrative by... Uh, that's who, that's who uh, this gentleman is. Yep. So, yep. yeah. Uh, I, I was right. Final Fantasy X, Final Fantasy VII Remake. He also did Final Fantasy VII. He did a lot of the uh, the books as well. Yes. Um, so, this is a this is an independent game. That's interesting. Yeah, so this is not Square Enix. Who then... Who's publishing it? Uh, let's keep. Oh, uh, it says uh, "Dear Villagers." Oh, pardon. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> in partnership. Uh, gotcha. Yeah. Uh, so let me keep reading here. In, in a world from Akiko Yoshida. Love yeah, him. he's great. Uh, in a world where chaos looms, players take control of the demigods, a motley crew of eight heroes charged with the fate of the world. Each character has their own story, explored across five cities. 25 dungeons and 30 hours of gameplay up to 50 for 100% completion. Along with the finely tuned turn-based combat, players can try out a range of side quests and mini games, including an original fantasy-themed token game. In Astria Ascending, we wanted to explore how people open in extraordinary or cope in extraordinary times, says Artisan Studios game director Julian Bourgeois. Bourgeois. Each hero has their own perspective, but it's the relationships they form with one another that truly brings the story to life. Seeing this world come together has been a delight. Uh, Guillaume Jame. Jan- okay. Head of publisher for Dear uh, Villagers. And it's an honor to have many, so many legends on the team helping out. Like a childhood dream come true, Astria Ascending is more than an homage to the classics. It's a perfect next step in our publishing line of ambitious JRPGs. So, yeah, there you have it. Let's take a look at some of these screenshots here. Uh, yeah, I'm already in love. This is the this is just right up my alley. Yeah. Um, it's just that like, man, so many games. I know. <laughs> but this is going to be a it's unique a problem, game. Though. This is going to be a unique game. Yes, yes. I mean, I still have uh, many other games to play, like Octopath Traveler, Zodiac. Um, what is that? Zodiac or Canon? Honestly? Oh, uh, oh, they're Astria just ascending. Wait, wait, wait! Scroll up a little bit. I'll, I'll read it. Austria ascending will be bringing back Zodiac's former team, and that includes Kazushige Nojima, best known for his work as a writer on multiple Final Fantasy entries, starting with Final Fantasy VII. He's joined by composer Hitoshi Sakamoto, best known for his work on Final Fantasy XII, Valkyria Chronicles, and more recently, Thirteen Sentinels: Aegis Rim. That was a fantastic game. I really like Thirteen Sentinels. Um, as for launch date, blah 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 interested did you previously play zodiac arcanon odyssey so this is a, the previous game from the same company maybe i think so yeah this this might be um a, a similar what, game by them but what did it come out on it it has uh it doesn't say on here interesting okay but That's i'm gonna similar. post this article in the video description mm-hmm. so check it out and definitely watch this video where they talk about the creation of the game Cool. Um, no, definitely. I gotta, I gotta look into that. Yeah. So I'm, yeah. This caught my eye, and it, this is something that, um, uh, yeah, I'm definitely gonna keep an eye on. 